You do have the A's hat. All right, we good? April 6th, right? Yeah. Here we go. One Take Radio, April 6th. We got T.I., Producer East. No, B. Ryder did not show. Sad, really. Biggest story of the week. We have not done uh, One Take Radio since the United, uh, the United University of Connecticut officially becomes a Blue Blood program. Five national titles in 25 years. I've been telling everyone the whole time. Best program in the country. Best team in the tournament. T.I. didn't listen to me. B. Ryder didn't listen to me. Producer East didn't listen to me. Um, you know, big win we were down there in San Diego State. Uh, tough loss for, for the Tex. T.I. is a San Diego guy. What did you think of the game? This is like one of the worst. It's uh, who was the what? Uh, Wisconsin made the finals in like twenty early, like twenty fourteen. I think I think it was fourteen. That was probably one of the worst title games I've ever watched. This one is that better drama well. down the stretch. That had the Kentucky guy hit the shot on the left wing. You know the Aaron Williams or something. Well, I thought no. they got their ass. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. I, there was one. Okay, well then I'll just go. Yeah, this was the worst title game I've ever watched. It, they, like especially when it was funny when like SCSU cut it to six and then just like instantly gave up a ten out run. Like no, it's on like grit, grit, grit right. defense. They got fucking punked. I knew that was gonna happen. I literally said they'll lose by twenty. They lost by sixteen, and I still bet on them because it was just a pride thing. So I lost money, retired, owe Ben money, didn't pay him. Probably will, will pay him Bookie next ben, week. bro, he's gonna come and break your thumbs. Him and Tony Batista. And producer exactly. is going to come break your thumbs and, in Oakland, and, bro. And, and you're and, fucking and, ordering DoorDash, not even you know attentive on this radio. It's sad, really. I am. It's I'm, sad. Hungry. B-Rider, I'm hungry. B-Rider says, B Rider says he's going to. B Rider says he's going to show up pretty, here. Producer Reese says your first uh, national title experience. You almost got yeah. murdered by yeah. the whole city of San Diego rocking that UConn yeah. jersey, but your team came through. I guess well, it wasn't really your team; it was your team for the, the night. They, you, they, and they're, they're, they're fake yeah. fucking fans, dude. Did you guys get any good? Do they are the worst sports city in America? They showed up, yeah, and then the fucking losers of a Padre game are like, oh. Like we, none of them went to school, and fucking none of them went to San Diego guys. State. No, I don't know. I thought the fans are pretty electric, dude. Yeah, garbage. Fans, are, fans are pretty good. We got some. We got some content coming up. We got some content coming up. Producer Reese, B Rider, keep your eyes up. B Rider, since you're the host, if he comes in, uh, bring him in. Okay. Producer Reese, your thoughts on on the game? I know we're going to talk about it a little bit post show. Yeah. Oh no, I thought it was good. You know, I was getting ganged up on a little bit, but you know, yeah, uh, yeah. UConn pulled through. I knew they were going to win. I think Dan knew they were going to win. He sneaky knew they were going to win. Um, yeah, it was a cool first experience. I've never been to a national championship game in person. So well, I, you guys didn't. Go. I mean, we you weren't, we weren't the game in person, to be fair. We were at the watch party. Uh, we were at the, the, we the watch yeah. party. But still, still yeah. similar energy credit to you, producer. Well, uh, yeah, Dan, I mean, if Dan, if Dan, it was if a Dan, it was The game wasn't great. The, I couldn't horrible. I mean, dude, the, the, the bricks that uh, San Diego State was throwing up. UConn came out a little bit tight. Uh, they, they they got down, you know, like two or three early, but it was never really a doubt. The, the first uh, fucking five minutes, I and mean, then they blew. See, he was getting like fucking twelve points of like six to go in the half or some shit. They're so. It bad. was terrible. I know they were throwing up. That's why right. I, so I thought it was just tight rims. B Rider, there's our guy. There's our guy. B Rider, baby. We're just talking about B Riders. UConn Huskies getting yeah. it done. Getting it done in the natty uh, earlier this week. Uh, I saw that meme uh, on Twitter. It was like going through the blue blood programs. It was like you know, UConn five national titles. UCLA, 11 national titles. BC beat University of Virginia by 15 you, you on, on Ash Wednesday. That was outstanding. I loved every second of it, and I think it was a great argument for your Eagles. Dude, I, I thought you had a red bandana on, on for a second. I was going to give you props for uh, little, oh, little, BC, little BC tabs there. It's all right, though. I should. Um, I should. I do, I, do, I do have a, a master's in red bandana I used to wear collaboratively, so it could be appropriate maybe for the next right one. Right on. For Monday. Ca- yeah. Catch me up. I'm, so, I'm sorry, boys. Bad communication on my behalf. Uh would love to uh, blame this on you, Dan, but this, this is this not me. Better it's here. It's hey, we got to be, just... be a little bit better here. It's all love. It's all love. No, we just kicked it off. First topic was the uh, UConn and the national title. A six dollar delivery fee for a chicken sandwich. I mean, this is this is the bacon of an episode already. I mean, we thought our episode Ti's fucking just talking about his goddamn DoorDash and whatever his fucking RSU no, hungry. Hungry. gives he a wor- shit. He he works all day. I, I gotta get props here. He's in an office all day, sitting at a cubicle yeah. selling. The and then he just, he just blows Pops all his damn money because he, he doesn't listen to Dan. People the the fact that he knows that UConn's going to win the, the, every single game. He doesn't listen to him. It's crazy. Dan, you, you're too afraid to fucking bet. So instead of going to the actual game, you took him to some smelly fucking gym but you made him drive eight hours to you because you didn't want to plenty of a cash to go to Houston. You're this smart basketball guy that you bet zero What a day, what an event. What a day, what an event. While T.I. is pushing fucking pencils, Dan and producer Reese are out there achieving. Achieving. That's what we do. That's what we do. Get him next time. Get him next time, T.I. Get him next time, brother. God bless you. It's okay. God bless you, man. Get him next time. Be right any other thoughts on the game and where does UConn rank amongst the blue pushing, blood program? Pushing pencils coming from a guy who sold fucking hardware to universities. Don't let's not go down that road, brother. Uh, I'm happy to go down that road. If we want to, just, if we want to, just make a personal attack on Dan, personal attack on Ti, I'm happy. That's better radio than the fuck know. we're talking about. You your shitty fucking, know. your shitty college basketball picks. Be rider if you want to go in and uh, uh, where UConn ranks amongst the blue blood programs. I know that was a hot topic coming in a couple weeks ago. Actually, just last week. Yeah, fuck UConn, dude. Other fans, fucking losers, dude. 
<laughs> like, oh, we're a blue blood now. All right, dude. Wait, wait till they not make the tournament next for the next four years. They'll probably come. They'll get, dead they'll get bounced early next year. I can totally see Danny Hurley's stupid fucking bald heads shouting and pouting on yeah. the sideline. Him and his stupid brother too. They can hug. I, it I don't mind. It. I don't mind his brother. At least his brother has hair. And also, his, true. Did, That's true. Did Danny Hurley play because his brother was like is like a legit all time point guard. So yeah, like he yeah. actually can act like an asshole. Did what, I don't Danny Hurley like how good was he at basketball? Well, so, no, Bruce Reese might have to fact check that one. Bruce Reese, maybe better, better than his hairline, but not what? that well. Bobby Hurley won two national championships at Duke. Fact check what? Oh no, no, I one hundred percent know that, bro. Yeah, he uh, didn't he have an injury when he was like going to the NBA? I can't exactly remember. So, yeah. yeah, but yeah, but 90, I, I honestly uh, don't 91, know. Ninety-one, ninety-two, dude. They went to four straight Final Fours. That's an unbelievable crazy. Run. Four straight Final yeah. Fours. I, Christian Leitner, what's his I, record? What's his record in the in the? Uh, he's what thirty and two in the national uh, in, in in the in March. No, he's uh twenty-two and two or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's ridiculous. Know, where where did Danny play? Did like did Danny play legitimate D one basketball or, or I honestly I don't know. know. So I don't know if he yeah. did. They don't, don't talk about did. him, so I'm guessing that he didn't. But maybe they didn't. All right. The other story from uh, national title weekend was the LSU IO. I did watch a little bit of that game. I, I did uh, live tweet a couple things uh, for the ladies. Caitlin Clark and what's for her name? Uh, uh, oh, Angel the, uh, Angel Reese. Angel yeah. Reese. Angel yeah. Reese. I was very much on the side of, of Caitlin for Clark that, here. Reese. Of course. Of course. Of course, the Boston guys are gonna go. All right, dude. We're just, <laughs> what? All right, no, we're what, running what, what, what was the no, question? Not, T. I. just gonna claim. T. I. just claims racism. Yeah. That's his argument at the end of the day. No, he says no, it's just funny. racist, yeah, especially yeah. if you're, yeah. you have a certain amount of melanin in your skin. It's just sad. It's sad. Really, it's a lazy it's argument. Better it's a, here. It's a lazy yeah. argument. You know, represent. But no, I thought. But, I thought. I thought. I think at the end, of the, if you're talking smack during the game, it's very different than at the end of the game. I think end of the game is is uh, you know you want to you want to show a little bit a little bit more sportsmanship there but it was a great game yeah LSU played outstanding that one point guard was unbelievable for LSU I can't remember her name off the top of my head but she was just sticking sticking 15 footers like it was nobody's business B rider it was like B rider back on Marlboro Street hitting elbow jumpers during New York I mean I couldn't that's believe right. the performance from, that's from right. the girl that's right but uh I do got to say though that that shit with with uh Angel Reese I mean yeah it was a little over the top but dude she just won a national champion like talk that talk you know I don't know I mean, dude, think about it. Like, think about when like Joe Burrow would run it was running his mouth after they won the national championship. Yeah, I like, love I mean, that. Yeah, but uh, like Trevor Lawrence, like he's you know he's kind of a putz. But I mean, look at all these look at all these men who do that. Like, I don't. Yeah, know. what about Tom Brady talking all this shit and making his stupid fucking videos after the fucking game? But I mean, I, yeah, with the, that doesn't bother Dan. Dan. I mean, whatever, it's okay. It's good. <laughs> it's cool. I, res- I respect it. Dan, 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 Dan doesn't live in the real world, so he probably loved that Jill Biden fucking invited Iowa to the White House as well. I didn't exactly see that. I didn't. Like I, that, I heard yeah. about. I heard a little bit about that controversy. I didn't exactly see it. I just. I, mm-hmm. I didn't. I think. I don't think Tom Brady ha- or any of those other players had ever gone up to a, like in someone's face and like going like that after the game or whatever it is. Uh, I can't think of, if if someone can provide me a counter example with that, then I would you know be happy to. I'll, I'll, happy to say I'll that jump. I'm I'll wrong. jump through. I'll jump through some hoops to prove a women's basketball conversation for you. I'll add that to my list of things to do right after I order fucking DoorDash, which I'm still struggling with. But what do you want? Yeah. This, this is a really sad performance from Ti. I mean, producer Reese might have to might have to get him out of the get him out of radio here. But um, yeah, right, uh, I don't know, TBD. <laughs> the uh ti can't figure out what to order i think you should go with a burrito um yeah lebron the nba ti says lebron uh i couldn't remember what you said pre-show there ti but he was i know that he was complaining that he, they played back-to-back away games at the end yeah. of the, the season and one he of them was, was actually in la that's pretty laugh out loud funny um he, was, I think he might go he might go zero now. dark 30 23 whatever the hell that means uh Celtics right. lost to the Sixers going into the end of the season. Not a great loss, but Sixers yeah. could be top second round. T.I., what do you think about uh, the NBA going into, into playoff season here? Uh, LeBron, uh, Laker fans are mad that uh, they played they, – I think they had four games in the last week. That's what they're upset about. But I, I feel like – I guess the Warriors had three. I mean, like everyone – it's just a schedule, right? Like, But anyway right. – he he tried he got into it. A Laker fan went after him actually, which was fucking hilarious. I could send him a video. A guy in a Kobe Bryant jersey was like pointing to his finger and was. Just, it looked like I mean I, I'm not a lip reader, but I think he was giving LeBron shit. But like he doesn't win real rings because LeBron was fucking pissed and he was Dang. just some ball dude in a Kobe Bryant jersey. Because there is a, there is a sect of like Laker fans. I think I'm not a Laker fan, so I wouldn't know. But I feel like there are people who don't like LeBron who are Laker fans yeah. who like yeah. probably are like ashamed of what he's done to the franchise. So yeah, I don't know. They're the seventh seed. Would I want to play them? Like, no, nah, probably not. Not the first round. Like, so they'll get the if, if if they make it out of a play and they, do they get a two seed? The, the seeding really could. I think they do. So if they get Memphis, yeah, they right? If they get Memphis or Sacramento. 
Like, depending on that shakes out, dude, if they get Memphis, that's must-watch TV with, like, that whole group of clowns versus yeah. LeBron plus Shannon Sharp in the front row, first round. You got to like that for the NBA. I do. Does Shannon, I would, does Shannon Sharp just love the Grizzlies? Is that his thing? No, he hates for so he 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 got into it with fucking Dylan. I know. John I remember Morant's seeing that story dad. vaguely. I didn't. I didn't really look into it, it too did too much. Get in with John Morant's dad too. I think it started with him and it spilled over to the players, and then like he made, yeah. he had this just like he was he was he was like criticizing John with the whole he's like you're blowing your future. It's a it's like bad for like young kids and shit. So like you know he'll be fired up and he'll do it for his ratings and shit. I I'm praying that we get Lakers Grizzlies first round. Like I, that is my dream. I'll watch every game. I don't watch basketball other than the Warriors for NBA. I will watch every yeah. game about Lakers Grizzlies I- matchup. Did I read correctly that the Clippers have beat the Lakers 11 straight times? Is that right? Maybe. I don't know. I think, I think, I, I mean, that sounds so No, no to way. Say. I don't know. I think, I, I think, I, I think that I've heard something similar to that. You play, I'm, you play teams four times, right? And it's like your divisional, is that the NBA think, schedule yeah, that shakes out? Yeah. 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 So that would I think the West, beat you play, you play each West, row. Western team four times each. Like if you're in the West, you play, you see, no, that'd be, that'd be too many games. I don't know. Two I don't games. know how it works. I don't know. Yeah. No, because the Celtics played the um, Sixers. They play them four times a year, and they're in the same division. I I think that's right. Right. Maybe it's four, right. four times in your division, like three times if you are in the same conference and twice if yeah. you're, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. But, but either uh, way, if that's – That's a dominant performance by the Clippers. If, that, if they've beat them 11 straight times, that's fucking bananas, dude. Like, I mean – since I, Kawhi never plays, but yeah. <laughs> it's load management. Pretty- P- producer, he thought Kawhi might uh, suit up for San Diego State the other day. That was uh, they could have used them. That was a thought, even though he, uh, yeah, he still would have had some load management. Yeah, we got Andrew Wiggins coming back for the playoff run. Is that is that confirmed? I haven't uh, exactly yeah, followed good. that story. He can. I don't know if he got cleared today, but they said he could he could play tomorrow or at the very least Sunday. So ideally, if they can like skip a play him and he gets an extra week to get his legs back, and yeah, he's he's back though. I guess it was that's that's huge for your Warriors. That's huge for your Warriors. I guess that, it wasn't true that uh, it was like the whole like girlfriend. I guess his dad was like dying or something. But that seems oh, weird. That you would miss that. But he didn't die. So like I, I don't, I'm confused. Like they're still like really keeping that. Like they're not saying what happened. I don't know. I, I'm not going to speculate. But like I'm glad. Does he's that back. give you hope? No, I I still. I mean, like he's been playing like shit. Kind of like when he did play, he got hurt. And... No, I don't think we got it this year. I mean, you can't win every year, right? You right. Boston guys yeah. know that. So I mean, like it was a good run, but. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not like I wouldn't. I, I, I this will change in a week if they start winning games of the playoffs. But like, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Feeling, I can't tell you. I'm feeling super great. What about overall? Do you think that they have? A, do you th- do you think like their dynasty's over? Or do you think that they have? Or is the no, window I, still open? I think they'll get one. I think Steph will get one more. I don't know how it happens, but I think it'll happen. I don't think he's ever going to play anywhere else. So I think he'll get one more. I mean, probably right off of his house. So I do think Draymond's gone. I think Draymond's going to go play with our boy LeBron, which will be also must watch TV. Yeah, I just, yeah, that would be pretty electric, dude. Yeah. Steph with Steph. With just, just five, hope there's no violence. There. Just, I, just, I just hope there's less violence between Draymond five and titles, Steph. five titles, and a, um, what's it called in an NBA Finals MVP, mm-hmm. and a regular season yeah. MVP, right? So yeah, that's that's Tim Duncan and Kobe numbers, dude. Yeah, that's a re- eight, that's a resume. Even four, eight. dude. Even four. People sometimes people don't put him in that conversation for some reason, which I'll never really. I mean, he's the greatest shooter of all time, right? I so. think they. I think they will. I think <sighs> for him, it'll be more of like a after the fact thing. Once the dust settles and they really take a look at him, like I, I just he, don't think he's appreciated enough enough today. Yeah, I. I, uh, I mean, he gets, he gets plenty of attention, you know, especially around here. I think he's. Uh, I think he gets enough attention. So. Yeah, so. but I, I great just player, think that, great player, all time great player, Ti. All time great. With, with him, I just don't think he's like I. I you know. He's never been like super flashy and out there, you know. He's always just kind of done his thing. He's been a sweet shooter. His handles are unreal, and I think that he kind of goes under the radar compared to a lot of other people. That's just what I. That's just what I think. I mean, obviously, being yeah, like a I mean, I, guy, I, I, I guess he's he's got to start dressing up like Kobe Bryant and like wearing the same like Kobe Bryant socks like Jason Tatum did, and then like yeah, that's that's how you get attention. I guess it's just you know you gotta you gotta do stuff like that. So don't, we don't got it on the West Coast. We don't got the juice like that. I don't know. Sad, are, right? you, are you trying to are you trying to say that that Jason Tatum is regarded as a greater player than Stephen Curry at this point in time? I think that's no, pretty, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like he, I'm just saying he I he, hope he, so, didn't, he didn't wear Kobe Bryant clothes, so I think that's part of the reason why. Okay, that, that doesn't. If you were arguing it towards a premise, it would make sense. I'm not arguing, arguing towards the final premise. I'm not but, uh, it's fine. fine. I, I, All right, back I, I to Ti. Back to Ti's favorite favorite East Coast team. Sounds like Mac Jones, where there's smoke, there's fire going into the draft. Potential trade rumors. B Ryder. I don't know if you got anything on this, but. It's fucking stupid. I don't think he's. I don't think he's gonna go. But I think that they're definitely shopping him. I don't think. But they're not shopping Bailey Zappi. That's that's for sure. 
Because no one wants Bailey Zappi, dog. Come on. Bailey Zappi's fucking good, man. I'm telling you right now, Bailey, Bailey Zappi is good, Bailey B-Rider. Bailey Zappi is okay. Bailey Zappi's Bailey... got that moxie, and he lets it rip. He's got a really strong arm. He's, he can move around the pocket. Dude, he can Who's ball. That? He might not be in New England, but he can ball. He's brought pretty the East Coast. He's like Chase Daniels, the perpetual backup every year who will come in and win you a couple games here and there. Like, he's all right. But the thing about Mac Jones is really weird, right? Like, they're saying that Bill Belichick was pissed because he went to his Alabama coaches to ask for help how to run the dysfunctional, dumbass offense that he was put in. But I don't know, dude. The whole story just makes no sense. And I feel like this whole thing makes Belichick look worse and worse. Which, side note, like, how much of a fucking asshole is Asante Samuel? Asante Samuel needs to shut the fuck up. Has he been going hard on Twitter? Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah, that's like the only thing that's even relevant, so that's why. He's fucking stupid, dude. He's like, oh, he's like talking all the yeah. shit about Belichick again. And it's like, dude, you're not even like, like, you you know what I mean? Like, you haven't been relevant in years. Like, no one gives a fuck what you have to say. Plus, he won two Super Bowls here. It's, and, and he, he was, dropped, he, was he on the 03 team? 03 and 04, I believe. Yeah, he I think he, dropped, he might have been a rookie in 03. The, yeah, they dropped a pick in 07. I mean, yeah, it's like, seven. fuck you, something. Like, you're, he's an asshole, yeah. dude. He needs to stop yeah. talking shit. But, like, I don't know, bro. I'm I'm starting to get, like, a little – I'm like, with the, this whole Belichick thing, it's 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 just – it's starting to – I don't know. We'll see how it shakes out, but it's starting to annoy me because it's like, why are you – if you if you have Mac Jones who you're trying to build around a young quarterback but you keep alienate the kid, it makes no sense. It's like you don't want him to succeed. It's like either succeed my way or the highway. But, like, you're not even giving the opportunity. You gave him a defensive coordinator as his offensive coordinator last year. Two failed head coaches ran the offense. But then – and then you gave him no real receivers to work with. But then you want to sit back and now now it's his fault when the kid literally was – Offense was moving pretty well with Bailey Zappi. That's all I'm saying. The offense was moving pretty well. Um, but the whole, you know, two but or three the whole, games there against the Lions. I think they scored, like – 220 points, even right, when he came and, in against the Bears. I know you said Browns, that you played poorly. They scored 29. The, they scored 29 against the Lions. So and the Browns. Two, and the Browns they must have scored too, a couple like, defensive touchdowns then because they were in the okay, 40s. But why didn't, okay, but Mac Jones, what about Mac Jones' rookie, entire fucking rookie area was good? Yep. Mac, I just, I mean, listen, dude, the, the, the jury's definitely out whether Mac Jones is like a good quarterback in the NFL. I'm not here to say whether he is or he isn't. I'm a fan of him. I'm a Patriots fan. I like Mac Jones. I just think that if you're going to – if if like at least give him a fair shot before you're just gonna like trash on him. Not saying you personally, but like with Belichick, it's just ridiculous. Like how like how are you not gonna how are you not gonna put him in a position to actually like give a chance to like, succeed? And then if he sucks, he sucks. You move on. Yep. But you haven't even given him a shot. You gave him fucking Devontae Parker last year. Devontae Parker was gifted to you by the by the Dolphins because they got Tyreek Hill, who was just way better. And then you had Jacoby Myers, who you let walk this year, and you got TikTok Boy instead this year. You got Mike Gusecki, who Mike Gusecki was basically written out of their offense last year. Case, case to be seen. You drafted. I think I think uh, Belichick Tyquan. would probably agree with a lot of things that you say, but I think I think he. But it's, it's dumb not to at least explore the trade market right now, especially for Matt going into year three if he has a solid year. Yeah, but who the, the value okay. could go up, but if he has a shit year, but the value the, goes down. So it's like you got to explore your options, especially with that pick. Like, they could. They, what's his name? At, could fall to fourteen. Uh, Richardson at, there, the, the Florida quarterback. Yeah, he's going to – I don't know. But look at look at all the successful teams in the NFL right now. You got Joe Burrow. He's on a rookie contract. Tua, who even though I said he was a uh, super team, whatever, but rookie contract. <laughs> Justin Herbert. <laughs> All-time moment. Contract. Oh, that's how – yeah. That's how all these NFL teams are able to be successful because they have good quarterbacks on rookie contracts and they're able to spend their money elsewhere. But then, you, like, so you have a – quarterback on a rookie contract but you're not even spending the money properly you spent it on two tight ends one of which isn't even on the roster anymore you just had to trade him for a seventh round pick so like what what are you doing to actually and and belichick is the one who builds these rosters so what is he doing to put it around him look if mac jones is not the guy and maybe bailey zappy is the guy but do you really think that bailey zappy is going to succeed with the offense that's around him like if you put bailey zappy in right now with the receivers and the offense overall that the Patriots have right now is Bailey Zappi even going to be able to be successful with that offense? I don't think so. Tyquan I think they're a twelve win team. I think they're a twelve win team. I twelve win team. Last, I thought that last year and they won eight games. They completely yeah. rest. I mean, they got yeah, Bill. We'll, we'll, see, I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, what happens I mean. this year. I just don't like this producer Reese as a big as a big Belichick guy like producer Reese is. You know, he's been messaging me in the Discord right now how how disappointed he is to hear about this uh, sacrilege from his yeah. his his friend. And yeah. uh, and colleague B Ryder, uh, I'm, being honest, I'm definitely a big Belichick I'm, guy. You know, I'm listen. So, I I have been too. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, Reese. Who, who, 
No, it's all right. I think uh, out of the three of us, though, who's the biggest Belichick guy? I think it's me. I think it's me. You know, could be producer Reese. Very well, could be. You still, you still haven't read Football Scouting Methods by uh, by Steve Belichick, Do his, I his late father, one of the legends. All right, last up, last up on the agenda. The show's been a bit of a debacle. We got the Masters thanks to Ti's energy. It's all right, Masters. Uh, I didn't watch today. Yeah, what is what? What's the issue of the T- show? I'm, I'm curious. You're you're mad that I called you out on the Caitlin Clark thing, but every I don't quite understand. I mean, you're saying I'm fucking pushing pencil side. You have your back. Your feelings are. I don't know what the suit's not on, but your fucking suit on. I don't know what's up. What's up with your fucking energy? There's nothing wrong. Oh, with my shit. energy's fine. I just see. I mean, you're on your you're on your fucking phone the whole. The I, whole I'm trying to order it's, fucking it's DoorDash. I literally have not. I'm not doing anything except on DoorDash. So I can't figure something out. I apologize. I'm hungry. I literally. I'm listening. I don't think you want you're tell. I don't like Mac Jones. I don't think he's good. Billy Zappi's like two and two as a starter. What are you fucking talking about? Twelve I, wins. Well, what, I, I well, would bet you a thousand dollars they don't win twelve wins. They, they don't win twelve games. You want? Do you want to take right. that bet? All right, well, I mean, what, I don't know what the terms are. So you just give me a thousand dollars if that. I mean, that, that's what the that's what I said with the UConn bet as well. You, you uh, want odds like I'm some sports book? That's not how it works. But you you make if you offer a bet, that means you're a de facto sports book. So like I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, if you're, so usually, most humans is it's straight up. That's when, when you're doing all the straight. Okay, at least got it. I don't know how they do it in Massachusetts and Denham, but that's how fucking they do it in the real world. All right, fair enough, fair enough. All right, last up, Masters. I didn't watch today. Ti looks like a pretty solid leaderboard here. It's a great leaderboard. Your, your boy Kepka uh, coming back here. He hasn't been relevant in the last what few years at least uh who do you like going into into friday moving day i love that adam scott is minus four he's turning the clock back fucking goofy i was gonna say all. that what yeah he, ever since he uh, uh they couldn't they didn't let him do the belly putter and what he won in what 2012 right i think it was 2012 11, i think wasn't it, it might he, be beat, he beat on hill cabrera in a playoff who i love on hill cabrera except i guess he like beat it almost murdered his wife so i don't condone that i don't like him anymore but the guy would smoke yeah. a pack of cigarettes every and round, cabrera, is, no, you're right and hill cabrera won in 09 2010 was uh, was it Bubba? And then no, Bubba won again in 2012. Hilker, dude, I think, was it 10? Because Angel Cabrera went to the playoff of Adam Scott, and he lost to the playoff. Oh, maybe you're right. But I think Angel Cabrera won in 09. Dan, are you so a golf match, guy? And I think it was crazy because, like, Angel Cabrera could have been a back-to-back Masters champion. That's why, I, right. like, I could be wrong on the timing. Like, 1,000% Adam Scott won his Masters against Angel Cabrera in a playoff. But, yeah, Angel Cabrera, I think he's in prison in Argentina, if I'm not mistaken. Like, he, really? he's, he's like a, yeah, dude, he, like, almost killed his wife. Or, like, That's something. sad. Which I didn't know, and I was taking a lesson, and I was like, dude, I fucking love on El Cabrera. He's electric. And my golf coach is like, nah, man. Nah, not cool. I'm like, ah, he smokes a pack of He's like, dude, bad guy. Almost killed his wife. I don't know all the details. Are, are you Allegedly. sure you're not getting him? Uh, I don't think, does he smoke a pack a day? Are you sure you're not getting him mixed up with that guy Jimenez with the crazy hair? That guy no, looks like he's Jimenez smokes five cigars. He smokes cigars. Oh, he smokes cigars. Okay. On El Cabrera legitimately would chain smoke cigarettes during rounds. And at Torrey Pines, I don't think he can smoke, so he was struggling uh, at the U.S. Open. Uh, Adam Scott's up there. I mean, That's there's hilarious. a lot of old dudes up there. Dude, Justin Rose is at minus three. You got uh, Phil's at minus one, which is hilarious. I don't like him, but like, yeah, old guys rule. Yeah, DJ. Yeah, what's, his name? what's his name? Shot a two under today, didn't he? I saw Freddie Couple shot. Uh, I think didn't he shoot a uh, seventy? He may be even. I saw his name. Let me just do a quick command F. Tigers at what plus two? He's fucking. Yeah, plus two. I hope he makes the cut. I, it seems Fred like Couple's yeah, I mean, minus one, minus one, Dan. So like you weren't oh, too far off there, but uh, yeah, more. I mean like dude, like but like Brooks Kepka is at oh geez, last time I saw at work he was at minus four. He got to minus seven. I he's gonna he's he's the type of guy that like the whole lip thing I know bothered him, and he would love nothing more than to fucking win this tournament and just give a bunch of goofy shit talk in his interview on Sunday. And I'm all for it. Honestly, he doesn't, he, Hoff- he's not particularly charismatic. He's a, he's a, I know, uh, but it's going to be just like cringy. It'll be kind of funny because it'll like, be kind of cringy. Yeah. He'll like try to have like yeah. some zingers in there, but like, it yeah, won't hit that well, flat, but it'll still be kind yeah. of funny just because of the situation. Be right. Answer your question. Talker. I like, I do like, uh, I watch, I like the majors. I like the majors. Yeah. I didn't know that. We, you know, we grew up right next to Mick golf, Mick golf and, yeah. uh, you know, on bridge street. Right? Yeah, no, I know. I, I just didn't. I didn't know you were a golf guy. See, I'm. I'm oh. really not. I took. I. I put like a bunch of bets in, like two, three dollar bets on a bunch of guys, just to make it like interesting. But yeah. Hey, but yeah. the last thing I'll call up, not to hijack this, but what is crazy? No, I need to watch it. Today. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. Uh, like in office or not, I'll fucking straight. It's Friday. There's an amateur at minus four. Really? Really? Yeah. He's. They always have six. what two amateurs? I think they have two amateurs play. You're right, Sam Bennett. I have no idea who that is. Fucking um, crazy. A lot of people like Cameron Young to cool. win. He's been like a trendy pick. I mean, Scotty Scheffler's dude, he's a guy that could easily go like five, six hundred tomorrow. Like he's just so he's so good, he's boring. His golf game, he doesn't get in trouble, he doesn't scramble, he's just like boringly good. So it's gonna be a really good tournament. I think guys you could like maybe just jump up there, like Jordan Spee's free under. He he knows him, you know, he's one here. Colin Morikawa is free under. Uh yeah. even a guy like uh dude Cam Smith. At minus two, another live guy, unfortunately, like he can make a run. So right. yeah, it'll be it'll be really good. Hideki Matsu, Matsuyama and Sung J M are both at minus
What's I the like, lever? It's I, I like John Rom. I don't. Yeah, John Rom. He I like. He gets mad, dude. I love it because yeah. that's how I play golf. He, he like slams his clubs and shit. <laughs> I can picture but one that. take open. We got it. Maybe when B riders that we'll have the one take open. All right, we'll see, boys. Good work. Perfect. The one take open. Uh, I do want to do that at some point. The match play championship. T. I haven't played since you and I played like three years ago. Wow, um, that's crazy. But, but I would probably still. I'd probably still give Ti a match in, in the or a I game. Know, my game's gotten play. a lot. My game's gotten a lot better, but yeah, I would try. I, 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 do I give you strokes, or do you just play straight up? Uh, we, we play match. That's the only. That's the only place that I have a, a real chance. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'd play you. I'd play you. Yeah, I guess fun. we gotta. We should. We should hash it out. I don't know. Maybe we have a sit down. I don't know what your deal is. There's a lot of. You know, you're mad. I mean, I called you out on the Caitlin Clark thing. It's like not. As, not. You know, what's going on? Are you okay? No, it's, you know, okay. it's, all, it's all good. No, I just. All I want to talk about was. Uh, you know, the. Uh, I think I had one for B Rider. Oh, the Sox. Are the Sox dead? The A's are. Are they leaving Oakland? And then, uh, you know, some stories from me and producer Reese's uh, adventures down in San Diego. So, B Rider, are the Sox dead? It seems like they. You said they just got swept by the Pirates. <laughs> they did, dude. Um, I don't know. They. <laughs> Of course they go out and they won today. Um, I don't, dude. I, I don't. I, I can't get a read. I can't get a pulse on this team right now. Um, I mean, two years ago, I didn't even remember this, but two years ago they they got swept in their opening series by the Orioles, who ended up losing a hundred games, and the Red Sox were two games away from the World Series. It's April sixth. Yeah, they got so dude. They got spanked by the Pirates too. Let's not let's not uh, sugarcoat it. They scored five runs in the first game of game one, and then they scored three runs the, the last 20, 26 innings. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. you see, Pro- you Producer see Reese has really been – Producer Reese has been following it pretty closely. He has not been happy with what he's seen. He's stole, a big baseball that guy. Kid stole, yeah. uh, that kid stole – they stole uh, um, Yoshida's ball. Yoshida hit his first fucking home run. A, pirate, a Pirates fan caught the ball, gave it to a kid, and then they went, and then the Red Sox tried to negotiate to get it back for him, and they wouldn't fucking give it up. Because they want to get more money out of it. But what happens is once you leave the stadium and you don't get the ball I, I uh, authenticated, it's fucking worthless. It's a fucking it, – it might as well be a ball that's on my wall right there. Like I could be like, yo, like that's that's his ball right there. Yeah. It's the same fucking thing. Wow. So they're fucking jerk-offs, dude. And, and and he even said in the interview after, he's like, yeah, like I definitely want the ball. This and that. I mean, he's like a really sweet – Nice, like, Japanese guy. Like, he's fucking great. But uh, Brett Ryder's second country, man. He's probably – you're probably extra pissed, Brett. I know you're a big Japanese baseball fan. I'm I'm, 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 I'm trying to get their address, dude. I'm going to go figure this out for my fellow – for my fellow countrymen. Yeah, hey, man, I'm happy that, you know, once again that your, your country won the World Baseball Classic. I was, you know, That's happy right. to see a big, big win for you, B-Rider. That was uh, That's right. That was exciting. Yeah, it's, yeah. I don't, I don't you know. I don't have anything uh, particularly – uh, interesting to talk about. You know, I don't know if you want, if you want to hash things out. You know, producer Reese is here. Perhaps he can mediate between the two. I don't of us. have it. Yeah, sure. I, I don't, don't have, have an issue. No, it's just, you know, just a couple buddies. A couple yeah. buddies throwing jabs at each other. It's fine. You can throw jabs at me. But if yeah, I jab back, fine. you know, it might, yeah, I'm not. But I'm not mad at all. Damn, that's a big. You're might get, might be a little spicy. Was, I'm not I'm mad. I'm not mad at my guy. It's fine. I'm just and look, I am. I've been on literally. This is a problem with DoorDash. I get. I don't eat throughout the day, and I get so hungry by the end that I just stare at shit. So it literally takes like an hour, and then shit starts closing. Like, dude, it's like. I don't know. I, I'm rocked a little bit. I don't know what to order. I, this happens to me like more times than it should. When I when I don't <laughs> cook and I don't and like I'm fucked and I'm fucked now. I may not even eat. Like that's how sometimes I just don't eat. So yeah, yeah, you're, you're a little rocked this episode. You know, I think your performance has been uh, outstanding on a lot of others. But you know, it's all right. You know, some, some, not everyone can win every day. Not everyone can be B rider. Not everyone can be producer Reese. We just bring it day in, day out, day in, day out. Um, uh, I think got, I've, so. Is. Again, like if we just do a summary, like yeah, I said worst game ever. I agree with that. UConn sucks. It's funny that like you get so rattled by the Boston thing. You're obsessed with Kyrie, and like it is not surprising that you like side of Caitlin Clark hilarious. I thought it was I like LeBron. Like you didn't even know he's fighting fans. Like yeah, he's trying to fucking fight fans. I'll send you a clip. I was arguing with him verbally. Mac Jones, I have nothing to add. We talk about him every time. No, it's like, fine. It's dude, fine. No, like, I just no. I think I I, I, I snapped back a little rattled. bit when you when you, when you put you're, it. I, I was rattled. Okay, <laughs> all right. Let's 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 we can do a little uh uh what you call it, producer Reese. Oh, wow. uh, a flashback for a flashback to twenty minutes ago, oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and 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 see who was see who was really rattled there. What a day! What an so event! What a day! What an event! While Ti is pushing fucking pencils, Dan and producer Reese are out there achieving achieving. Oh, no. That's what we do. Uh, That's yeah, what we do. One take. Get it next time. Get it next time. Get it next time, Ti. Get it next time, brother. God bless you. It's okay. God bless you, man. Yeah, I think. Yeah, if you want to look at at the the Caitlin Clark situation as a through a microscope, then 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 that's on UTI. Oh, the rise of producer Reese was the last thing. The last thing. So producer Reese uh, is quickly usurping a lot of power within OneTakeMedia.com. He is I, now he has like three direct reports, and I think it's kind of uh, unclear who reports to who in the Tavis and producer Reese. 
business unit. Now he has Emilio, and now even Yoel is producing, uh, reporting directly to producer So I don't know, maybe wow. you could talk about about your um, yeah. your your rise to power here, producer and yeah, and um, I definitely, I definitely you know, think, at what uh, point will I be ousted? I can confirm. Yeah, uh, Emilio and Yoel both report to me. Um, that's right. Dang. That's right. You know. Dang. I like See, it, it might be B, B Ryder might be reporting to you too soon. I mean, this is yeah, uh, this is getting pretty wild. I, right I, now. I don't know about that. You know, in terms of these uh, things might know, who reports to who between me and Tavis, that's confidential. Like we don't okay. talk about that within the, uh, the the OTM business unit here. Um, Respectful. Yeah, yeah. Just it's just you know <laughs> business unit things. Um, but yeah, no, I, I gotta actually. I need to talk to Emilio. We're gonna have. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to chew him out a little bit. You know, his performance oh. has been a bit, wow. a bit underwhelming. Oh. These past wow. couple days, so we'll see what happens. Mm. See what happens. There, there was a bit, there was a bit of an incident. There was a bit yeah. of an incident on uh, on Monday, producers. I don't know if you recall. Yeah. Uh, some folks were talking about it when we were filming, yeah. and you couldn't get the stabilizer to work. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't get the stabilizer to work effectively, and uh, you were a bit you were a bit rattled. You really weren't clearly unprepared, and yeah. uh, it hurt the production value of, of the whole program. Uh, yeah. Your thoughts? Yeah. It was uh, it wasn't great, you know. But I think I you know, I pulled through still. You know, I didn't. Uh, I could have just. That's left. right. I could have just right. like you know left it hang you know hanging dry, but you know what? You could have just started. You could have just started walking back to Stockton, California. From I could have just started walking back, dude. Yeah, that's Wouldn't right. Me, like, that's right. And you didn't. <laughs> and you didn't. <laughs> be right. Yeah, be right. Be right. Is a big fan of, of me, man. He's, he's a big supporter yeah. of Lisa Reese. You know, very so, big, very big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan, you're mentioning how like everyone's <laughs> taking sides within you know one take media. So I think you know be right. You know, be writers. Me, be writers. Be yeah. writer has come yeah. out as a tab, as a TI yeah. supporter in his uh, in his Discord. Yeah. I mean, that's that's yeah. big news. So yeah. Oh yeah. Dan, you better like you know start gathering guys. You know it's gonna be. I know. I guess I need to get some guys on my side. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any, I don't have any guys. Yeah. Your company's yeah. turned on you, buddy. The company's turned on me early, man. This is uh, this yeah. is sad. We've only been doing this for a handful of months, so it's uh, yeah. it's tough. It's tough. Listen, Listen, uh, you know, someone's yeah. someone someone's yeah. got to wear the black hat. Someone's got to wear the, the 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 Boston cap and just be you be bring, right about most things at most at on, most times. Listen, Dan, you brought out a lot of high character guys, and I, I gravitate towards these high character guys. You know, it's, Facts. it's how I roll. So Dan, you know, leadership, I, I, not, leadership is leadership is finding people saying, who yeah. have more character yeah. than you, who are better than you, and then yeah. helping them achieve. So it's actually yeah. incredible leadership by me. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, uh, you're great. You're great, Dan. I love you, Dan. You're you're my favorite person I've ever worked for. Yeah. What um? Thanks, so here's, God bless. here's yeah. No, God bless you. What so? What if we uh, start using some of our very little company budget, um, especially maybe in this like break that we're taking. Uh, we want to keep it out. No breaks. There's no breaks. No, I think it's just. I think it's just like we're trying to divide divide things into different different eras within within the organization. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I'm down to start betting baseball if uh, you need me to. I just want you to pay for it because that's a black hole for my money. So I'm trying. I, I actually <laughs> have to be locked out of my account. I owe him a couple hundred. I paid the bulk of what I owed, but uh, yeah, I mean, baseball's always been a black hole. Uh, one time I lost. I, would, like, I, I was telling producer Reese I would love to get some content of Ti just like chain smoking like over in Oakland, <laughs> like at like at the Oakland Stadium, just like nobody else there on like a water park game on a all Tuesday. 12, all twelve fans. All twelve. Yeah, fans exactly. Just Ti is just like Ti just yelling at like the A's versus the fucking Reds on like a Tuesday man, afternoon. Dude. That would I mean, be awesome, man. I would. Love, to, I would. You, I would, I would fund to, that content. You'd have to what? pay me, literally pay me to go to an Oakland A's game because I is, fucking hate those guys. <laughs> what is what is Baumgartner jersey on? Do you, do you, are we going to have a track still? Is that still a thing? Yeah, end of end of this month. Yeah, it's on the calendar. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. No. The uh, yeah. I think the T, I think TI. Yeah. I'd love to see some day baseball and then uh, you know horse racing and then uh, you know whatever whatever. I mean college football is going to be here soon. I uh, I want to get on that. Uh, get geez, on that that's action. also that's also a fucking black hole for money. It's not great, but yeah, we do do it. All right. Well, this was a yeah. good show, Dan. I thought I think mean, conflict is good. I think this makes you a stronger individual. That's why I do it to you. Um, yeah. And I think ultimately I rattled you a little bit. And with that, I'm going to go get these chicken wings. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna have a great evening. So, and I'm gonna go to bed knowing that I rattled you a little bit. And uh, but that that that's ultimately at the end of the day, like what keeps me going um, when I'm at yeah. IQ. Push your pencils. So, um, ooh, yeah, I, mean, I rattled ooh, you. Ooh, okay. So ooh. that's a good one, Brett. It, it's always a pleasure to see you, Brett. Uh, Reese, we'll uh, we'll be talking soon about our next move. I think we're gonna do, do a spin off of One Take Radio within One Take Radio and start producing our own podcast. Um, and I will do it very poorly because I know that will bother Dan. <laughs> that will ultimately hurt his brain. I'm self, <laughs> I'm self sabotaging. The company is ultimately my goal. Uh, hostile yeah. takeover is what it's called in the corporate world. But yeah, yeah, like, yeah. All right, right. This has been a pleasure, Dan. I thought I did really well today. Um, my closing remarks. I hope <laughs> this makes it in. It's 38 minutes of content, but I have to email over, so I hope this makes it in. Um, yeah, I thought I was excellent uh, across the board. Everything. I was not distracted on my phone ordering DoorDash. Yeah, I think you're great, Ti. Ti, you're our guy, man. Hey, man, we, we you know Ti is Ti is someone that we see a lot of potential in, so that, that's our guy. 